Okay, next one. Bob says, what are geographically relevant links and how do they help SEO? That's a good question. So let me pause for one minute and I'll pull up a graphic, which will help to explain this a little bit better. Okay. So the question, to repeat it one more time, what are geographically relevant links and how do they help SEO? Okay, so geographically relevant links are links that are have local relevance to their target. So what does that mean? Uh, an example of a local link would be a local tree service company, right? That's my agency deals with tree service contractors. So a local tree service company gets a call from a local attorney office, a law firm, a local law firm that says, hey, we got a tree in our parking lot that uh, looks dead and we're afraid that you know a storm or wind could blow it over and damage some cars. We need you to come to remove this tree from our parking lot. So the tree guy goes out to the law firm's uh, you know, <clears throat> location and removes the tree. And they do a fantastic job. So the, the 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 attorney who owns the law firm, he does a post on his blog to say, hey, we want to thank uh, Bradley's Tree Service for coming out and removing the tree in our parking lot. They did a fabulous job. If you need tree services in Culpeper, Virginia, contact Bradley's Tree Service, right? Boom. That's a link that has no topical relevance, right? Because it's a link coming from a law firm site pointing to a tree service site. But because it's in the same city, it has geographic relevance or local relevance because Google understands that that link is coming from another local entity, right? That's in close physical proximity to the target business, the business that it's linking to. Does that make sense? So that link has an effect, a significant effect on maps ranking um, because low searches now are all about geographic signals, right? Um, it's funny, there was a discussion going on in our masterminds community. Um, Cecilia had a great, she's one of our, rock star members in my opinion <laughs> she uh she had a great um i'm not going to open it up because i don't uh, but anyway she had a really good description of how to kind of convey how google's algorithm has shifted so much lately um things are so hyper local now and a lot of that it, it really has to do with where you are when you're searching your your where you're geolocated seriously that more so than it does with keywords like a location modifier is a keyword modifier, not a ge geographic modifier. It's not a signal for geo. It's a it's a it's a keyword modifier. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is a link coming from another local source. Google understands that that link is coming from another local source. Here's a question that I've heard when I've explained this before on like sales calls and such. People say, "Well, yeah, but what if the law firm's attorney site was hosted in California? They're in Virginia, but their site is hosted in California. How is that?" link providing geographic relevance. It has no bearing on where the where the host is. That that makes no difference. What makes a difference is the the link is coming from a website that is associated with a local entity, a bit, the law firm which is a local entity in that particular city. Does that make sense? So it doesn't matter where the 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 freaking site could be hosted in China for all that matters. It doesn't matter if that website is associated with a local entity then that link is a local is a geographically or locally relevant link. And that helps has a significant influence on maps ranking and a slight influence on organic ranking. And conversely, topical relevance, topically relevant links have a significant influence on organic and a very slight influence on maps. Um, so that's why local relevant links really make a difference. And if you guys doubt this, just start look again. If you're doing any kind of backlink analysis, if you look at the top ranked organic competitors, in competitive niches or competitive areas uh, or, or combination of both, you'll see that usually, not always, there's always anomalies, but most of the time, you'll see that the top ranked organic competitors have really relevant backlink profiles, topically relevant. But if you look at the maps, whatever's ranked in the maps three pack, most of the time, not always, again, there's always outliers, there's always anomalies, but usually you'll see what's ranked in the maps three pack, they don't have really topically relevant link profiles. But if you analyze their backlink profiles, you'll typically see that most of the top ranked in maps section have backlinks, uh, significant backlinks, or at least maybe not a significant number, but some maybe high, uh, um, particularly powerful links that are from coming from other local entities. There's a couple of ways you can do this, guys. 
you can get local links kind of more the, the more manual traditional approach to getting links which would be and here's some great options that work incredibly well they're harder to scale but they work really well number one getting a link from your local chamber of commerce it requires you to join the local chamber of commerce there's an expense to that but when you get a link from a local chamber of commerce uh directory that is a very powerful link very powerful link but again you have to join the local chamber of commerce another one would be sponsoring uh, little league teams, so parks and recs organizations, um, local schools, local charities, local churches, all of those things, getting sponsoring them, right? Then you often will get a link back from their websites as a, you know, on their sponsor page and things like that. Those are all local links. Those are valuable links. Local news and media sites, getting, um, you know, those, those are all, again, local type of links. Uh, um, event sites, local event sites, things like that. Those, those are all good links to have. Again, uh, one last one is a really good one is if you join like a lead share group, right? Like meetup.com or BNI groups, which I don't like BNI. I fucking hate BNI groups. It's like the soup Nazis of business networking. Um, but anyway, if you join any kind of like those lead share groups, that's another great opportunity to do link exchanges with other businesses in the same area, right? All of those are great ways to get links that'll help you to rank in maps. Um, there's also other ways that you can do it, which we do at Semantic Links, which is going out and hunting down domains that have already expired uh, in particular cities or locations that already have local backlinks pointing to them, then picking up the domain and then rebuilding it, and then building links from that domain to your target asset. That way you're basically buying locally relevant links uh, to a domain that has already, that somebody let expire. And you're just snagging and snatching it up, putting some content that was relevant to whatever it was previously on that site. And now you've got a, a, an asset that you can use to link to your um, project or client's projects, if that makes sense. So great question, but locally relevant links have a significant effect on maps ranking and they work and they work really well.